Haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icarat, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part, where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? You want me to question you? Don't you want to? <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? What if it had? Where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I wouldn't have... Five. Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. more than once. Kara, how you feeling? Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. You hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Chief, we've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every test and commission out there. Fuck yeah! 
Yes! Uh, I owe you, Chief. Goddamn sick leave had me climbing the walls. Not another word or I'll change my mind. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. Reconstructed. Okay, I'm back. We're best friends now, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Look, you don't have to trust each other. Just report everything. Got it? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. I warn you, though, I am not saving anybody from Demer. I got principles. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how they make such awful food. Anybody who works there deserves whatever happens to them. James, the post office? Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? It's the last place they play good old-fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah. You like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff. Go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3.
Look, James, we got off on the wrong foot. Hey, people love me. That's just how it is. I just I want you to understand I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing. That's the spirit. Baseball game? Because somebody stole second base. Oh, for fuck's sake, James. Dad jokes? <laughs> Kara 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116739. Thanks. 116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. Have you opened it yet? One second. I have to move my car.
information is confidential and will be automatically destroyed after reading. Select a section to read the files. Subject's name is Edward Green. Who? Hard to confuse this mug with anybody else. Green's sponsoring some kind of exhibition in Central Park. I saw it on the news earlier. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Well, let me look it up. Yep. It's supposed to be in a few days. He'll have to get back on his feet pretty damn fast, then. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Relax. This will be a routine job. Routine my ass? What are we supposed to do? We get in, fully a right and deliver to the Consciousness Transmission Center. No sweat. You're telling me the Covenant Chief, the guy who used to be the Secretary of Health, his Icarites just lying around in a dead body? Fucking hell! Why isn't this going through official channels? Scandal. Keep his name out of the mud. You know what could happen if the Icarite of a guy like Green fell into the wrong hands? Yeah, the fewer people know about it, the better. The atmosphere's tense because of this bill to reduce free body subscriptions. Exactly. Look on the bright side. I'm betting Green's gratitude hits the gas on that dream promotion of yours. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Wanna tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. Neither am I at the moment. So, what's the harm? No, I, um, I couldn't. That would be unprofessional. Especially on a case this important. Unprofessional, right. All right, I'm all up to speed. Let's get on with it. Attention, documentation will be automatically destroyed. James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? Thanks for the concern, but never felt better. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. This job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. Shit. James, camera. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last, last? Mm-hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. Huh. Didn't they have wings? Horses? No, pegasi. Um, Sarah, that's a horse. Pegasi are mythical creatures. <laughs> Some paleontologist you are. These days, horses are mythical, too? No. Mythical animals are fictional. They never existed. Whereas horses are extinct. Like dinosaurs. <laughs> of course. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. Hey, you asked for it. James, end of topic. Let's move on. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? 
Well, I'm still gonna need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Mm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. You won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icarite, right, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction. Seen this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green. Pull it right and let's go. The Icarite's melted. So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah. He's dead. What? Like, you mean final death? Dead? Look, Sarah, I've seen this before. It's not some random glitch. The thing's been oxidized, understand? Somebody wanted to make damn sure Green wasn't coming back. Oh, I am in deep, deep shit. Look, he's hanging from a fucking tree. What someone? Then why's the tree burned? James, this is crazy. If something goes wrong, you're hung out to dry. At least we have a theory of the crime. Omega code 112358, suspected murder. What do they need protection for? Replacing a whole body just because somebody gouged out your eye is... unprofitable, I guess? Not for him. Here he scores a few points. Points? For what? This engine could push a car up past 120 miles per hour, running on gasoline, on the ground. You know, it's hard enough to imagine driving on the ground and all, but 120? <laughs> no, I call bullshit on that one. It wasn't just a fire. I'll find the cause and we're out of here.
time. Right. Someone flooded the Transformer and it caught fire. The cable acted like a fuse. That's what caused the explosion. It's getting more and more obvious why nobody wants to work with you. I'll look for any pre-explosion traces, then we're out of here. James, I wasn't born yesterday. You said that before, and I don't believe you. Okay, this is some kind of it's starting to get interesting. Someone carved this date long ago. What's up with the snake? Mm, check the encyclopedia. Someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion. Cracked it and left a handprint. Green was holding this bottle before he died. Uh, unique taste of our gin. Junipers, communis, passion, respect. Huh. Looks tasty. Stop it. James, you've got to stop this. What's he 
doing? Ah, you're finally paying attention. Great. So, now the question is, did Green try to crack open that plate with his own forehead? Or did somebody else use Green's forehead like a ball-peen hammer? Why can't we see the killer in the reconstruction? He covered his tracks pretty damn skillfully. So someone was here. Fucking hell. What? You gonna tattle to the chief again? Would you just let that drop already? What's done is done. No point in picking at it. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to work like this. There's gotta be at least a baseline of trust here. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, except we're running out of time to figure out how the tree got set on fire. So, come on. Chop chop. Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? Why? The reconstructor needs massive amounts of energy. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment and pop. Blue fuses. So I don't have to do everything myself after all, huh? It looks like a door. It must be open remotely. Maybe I can find something with X-ray. Something went off here. Aromatherapy helps with synchronization. Aromatherapy? Sure. Pity we're all rolling around in sewage. <gasps> James, is that chocolate? That's what it says here. Can I, um... Oh, can I ask you to do something for me? <laughs> what, you want me to steal evidence? No. I mean, yes. Listen, could you... <sighs> could you describe the scent to me? It's like taking synthetic tobacco and smearing it on your fingers. Tell you what, why don't you try describing it in a way that doesn't sound gross? Give it a shot. Like a cigar, only without any shitty chemical aftertaste. Okay, um, let's try this another way. Uh, does it make you feel something when you smell it? Emotions? James, anything. You think it's edible? Glossing right over the emotion talk. Okay, look, that sample's probably over a hundred years old. Food spoiled in the past. It could make you really sick. Tobacco, a non crappy cigar, and you want to eat it. Exactly. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Let's get back to work. See how much good he's done? He helps children. Orphans, supposedly. Uh, we can't know for certain. I mean, maybe he really did help them? Oh, sure. He helped them all sign up for the first body subscriptions. That they could never afford. trying to 
get rid of those. Didn't make it. Or someone stopped them. went smooth as silk. You know, it had to be some kind of sabotage. You mix in political bullshit and poof, the whole program goes up in smoke. Okay, so he's interested in art. Doesn't seem to be too much he's not interested in. Wife. Refused Ica right. Died a natural death. But wasn't that illegal? She would have had a top-down warrant served, right? Green only introduced that legislation after her death. Hang on. Are you telling me Green couldn't handle it that his wife died, and he fucked up our whole fucking society because of it? <laughs> far as I can tell, people's bullshit personal trauma is always what fucks up society. tree too. Some enjoy that.
Green's signature. Did he paint this? He's had some time to learn. They knew each other? How old was Green? Older than Icarite. How fucked up is that? Dying in the process of transplanting your own invention. His body rejected it, right? Guess he drew the short straw. That's not what I heard. I heard it was human error during the procedure. some kind of relic. To the best of friends, always auspicious winds. Green. That asshole had friends. Hard to believe. I'm getting a bad hit off this thing. I wonder which one's the best friend now. I wonder why a gift from Green is in his own home. Let's see what the patient has to say. Matched to Green's blood type. He was fighting with someone. Or he cut himself as he jumped. Sarah, think outside of the box. I can come up with obvious ideas myself. He fell from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. against it? Looks that way. They came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. Someone must have been messing with it. We don't have enough information to find the other one. How do you think this went down? Green gave up after the fight and did whatever the perpetrator told him to. I'm thinking he put the rope around his own neck and then destroyed his own Icarite. Well, in any case, Green didn't jump. Someone pushed him. Wait. There's a 
blood trail here. He must have gotten cut before the hanging. Do you have a UV lamp? I don't leave home without it. Stairs. Unusual shape. But he was lying here. He's talking to someone. Or like he's begging for mercy. Another trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Must have been bleeding a lot. Well, look at that. The tracks connect. What he got? I do. And it still wasn't enough. Shit. Sounds like you hated his guts. <sighs> oh, please. He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. The reconstructor's coming up goose eggs on its composition. It must be rare as shit, then. Stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. Tracks lead this way. Looks like the green was rummaging around the transformer. Someone made him do it. Exactly the way the perpetrator wanted it to. Seriously? You're repeating yourself. There's something here. James? <clears throat> I've lost visual. detail because I can give you more detail whatever the feds are on their way there so consider this a heads up when they find you I don't fucking know you are you 
You're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades and you're gonna hang me out to dry? How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah, if we're gonna keep working together, you're gonna have to promise me something. What? That you'll never do anything behind my back again. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we gonna pinky swear? Shall I let you know every time I change a fucking tampon? James, the feds are coming. So, grow a pair, and please, with a fucking cherry on top, clean up this mess. Whoa. Yes. Now, come on, move before they bust us. Nobody will even know I was here. Time to go back to the underworld he cast us all into. In the gut of a body not my own, I can feel this case is nothing but trouble and heartache. And even worse, it's personal. A lit cigar pressed against a wound that never heals. That's me. The second time I've seen Icarite completely melted. Just when I got a little better at forgetting the first one. your day if I told you I'd have to kill you I'm glad to hear that due to the high level of air pollution I recommend full body decontamination you're lucky I don't need to water you depend on me and you won't have long to live It's been almost 100 years. 
At parties, I said I smashed it with the ball during the game. The truth is, it was after the game. And I had a ball-shaped stone trophy. A football trophy. Actors in their own bodies. Now that was cinema. forgotten what that's like. When I started the service, the guys didn't believe she was my wife. Even when I brought this photo, they said it was photo montage. I bet every one of those guys has a new body by now. Probably wouldn't recognize each other on the street. Sorry your luck ran out the way it did. Really sorry. As usual. Finally. used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes. Though for some reason, it's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. space to fire up the evidence board.
this site. In the first days after changing into this shell, the shakes were so bad I couldn't come out here. The city sprawls in every direction. It's only a matter of time before it starts devouring itself. This infernal racket is the pulse of the city. The main artery leading to the CTC itself. Sarah? How's the job going? To complete my report, I need to summarize the evidence. I need access to the system. You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified as a suicide and sent straight to him. Sarah, look, I'll owe you. I need to check a few things. Let me remind you that we've known each other for about five minutes. Do you think I don't know why the Chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. Forgive me for mentioning her, but it was the same kind of suicide. Sarah, listen to me very carefully. We're in this together, and it's a lot bigger than the Chief. Sooner or later, the report will make it to the top brass, and we'll both be fucked. Unless we consider all the circumstances in the report. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I have access, so I analyze, and I put the evidence on the board. Is that clear? As clear as day. Okay. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry for bringing your wife up like that. Look, let's not fight. Let's connect the dots one by one. If we agree with the conclusions, we move on. You'll agree with me sooner or later. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner you can write the report. <laughs> it's the spirit. I should clear up Sarah's doubts about the murder. First, I have to prove that somebody else was there besides Green. Then when Sarah takes the bait, I'll convince her about the rest. Look, you don't have to try to convince me that Green is behind everything. Suit yourself. Hmm. Got something? Nah, it's nothing.
What else do you need? A lot of money, promotion, happiness. That's after we've solved this case. Oh, how lucky I found you. Okay, we still have shit, but we can at least ask two questions. First, what's the actual cause of death? Second, who's the culprit and what's his motive? Are you saying you're getting involved? I've already changed my mind. Are you the same with guys? I won't correct you on everything you just said that was wrong. Besides, I'm looking for more information about the evidence. But seriously, no more jokes. Wanna guess which one's the best friend? Nope. I have to wonder if someone just dropped it here. Or if they threw it back in Green's face. Why did he go to so much trouble? To get past the police reconstructor? The sequence of events worries me. I found some interesting tidbits. Please share. Only with friends. But I'll make an exception for you. It'll be hard to defend the theory about these cables. The moment of the fall is puzzling. I want to say that someone kicked him, but we don't have enough... Apparently, he had a heavy foot. He was just showing off to a girl. If I had such a fancy car, I wouldn't need a girl for anything. We would have seen a shootout in the reconstruction. Mm, must have happened before. Maybe he shot someone? Somebody had to be pretty damn determined to fuck Green Zikarite up this bad. Somebody. Right. Could have been Green himself. There's nothing complicated about this. But what next, James? This is clear, and... No. Give me a minute. I've always wanted to fly a helicopter. What? That's all magnetic now, so it's literally hanging in the air. When you fly downward, you're dropping. This makes my skin crawl. You don't want to know what it's doing to mine. We know what's going on. Now we only need the motive and the perpetrator. Yeah, then tea and we'll find Kennedy's killer before an evening snack. Hmm? Oh, geez, how did you even get through high school? What did I pass? I used to play baseball. You forgot if that says what I think it says? We're getting somewhere. This is no proof. What? But a very solid hypothesis. <sighs> I agree. Let's move on. James, this is fun, and I'd play three more games of solitaire, but it won't prove anything. What else do you need? More facts, or it's a waste of effort. engagement joke what no it's, it's not like that I, I just have something for you if it is however some stupid joke I will get fucking mental on you there is one more piece of evidence sorry why don't I know about it it's not in the archive because it's not a photo oh wait a minute <sighs> tell me you're joking I'm begging you it turns out I think it is indispensable you took physical evidence from the crime scene? They'll put us in jail for this! Oh, shit. I take it back. I'd rather have the engagement ring. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. Probably poison. This creepy voodoo symbol on it makes it more mysterious. More importantly, the material of the vial might retain fingerprints. What do you think? Show me. If you have any more stolen evidence up your ass, you better get it out now, before you hurt yourself. Not this time.
consult your doctor. There's even a term for it. Kleptomania. Symptoms include paying for it someday. Your arm code? Nine, seven, fucking six. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your business. Everything was in Sarah's hands now. Which was neat, since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something else later. Or we can just pretend none of this ever happened. A complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. Nobody sticks their head outside anymore. As if they wanted to believe this ugly world does not really exist. Huddled in their little flats over the few cents they managed to save towards a new body never asking themselves whether the survival instinct makes the urban rats happier, or is this only the selfish genes, free riding on the suffering of subsequent generations, other alien forces exploiting their drive towards self-preservation, their desperate struggle to stay alive a little longer, desperate struggle that even Green is eventually lost. citizen either. No way. James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. So, who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't want to say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. Deja vu. This one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes. But... Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, which is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close? 
close to it? Are you all right? <sighs> the newsfeed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go- No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! The bar was named Icarus and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. James, are you hearing this? Fire department on site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. A little late for that. See for yourself. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. I bet his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice-like. One. No resemblance whatsoever. Any luck here? Kovalev has a mustache. This one doesn't. argument there, but it's not him. Shit, I can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here full stop, understand? Okay, sure. new body. 
James, don't even think. We have to reconstruct the lock. Fuck. It's as far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion. Not yet. James, if Kovalev finds out. This whole place is about to fall apart and take Kovalev's secrets with it. I'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again. Hey, if you fall, I'll say you acted alone. I'm fucking serious. Fine. Let's get to work. What do you think? A special secret asshole. Get what? He was pale. sign. The ads in the city are deadly effective. Ugh, James, I'm begging you. He's got something on his neck. Check it out. It's, huh, one of ours. Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah. side, bleeding heavily. The marks will be visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. It must have come from there. jumped from. The whole couch is fucked up. Is this more of the undercover's blood? Nah, he would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. We'll identify him later. What is that? A brand name? Could be. Or maybe somebody's initials. Nailed him right through the head. Damaged. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. 
I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turned the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? People used to talk like that. I heard in some movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You're a movie buff. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat-footed. He managed to scram. Agile body. Fast reaction time. Grade B. Maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that? The bullet turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? Okay. Look, let's see. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. You've never been tempted to... No, no! Put it down! Yeah, yeah. Uh, just asking. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? Hey, I remember that agent. From Rachel's case. James. No, no, listen. If he's the guy hired to do the dirty work with Rachel, then he was up to no good here, too. We really don't have time for this. Right, right, okay. I'll haul ass. I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. Die. He's gonna have such a phobia. Just the sight of a match will make him piss himself. And he'll never light a cigar again. John Park? The third one in the photo with Green. The main shareholder of Demmer? <sighs> Fucking Demmer. He's covered in some kind of flammable shit. Ribs completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on fire. Shit. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demmer food. Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so. Martin Roy. 
The owner of the New York Liberation Stadium? Shit. He seemed like a decent guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. Scarf? I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But, yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... there's no sign of Salma's presence? No. Not yet. Right. Destroyed? It doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. I see a code on the hand. Will you check it? Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe? Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet? Weird. It's unregistered, but... The body was bought by Phalanx for... Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? Not only that. Arms dealer, smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. Some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? Mm -hmm. And add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long-term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that! The boy was planning the games. Did you read about that? wanted to distract the crowd. Miller was probably supposed to protect the rich. Someone sure fucked those plans up. Oh, just breaks my heart. I wouldn't say fucked up. Delayed, maybe. But you know sooner or later they'll resurface in new bodies. At least it ought to take them a while. <sighs> right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. You got that right. His bar. The traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Same one that set Park on fire. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Possible. More than that dead you see. Species. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old-fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. Shot from 
the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. The caliber matches the gun fired. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. Bodies assigned to a user named Edmund Christo Basmond. That doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, I didn't figure it would. He works for Phalanx. <laughs> Miller's livestock. He fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. guard shooting at Kovalev. Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled to have such shitty aim. Read in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. <sighs> How can we connect it all? Ballistics points to Kovalev opening fire on the guests. I'll check around the bar again. against his own. It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he'd whipped up himself. He treated the next guests with a hail of bullets. He finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Wino Edmundo. Kovalev gave as good as he got. Finished off the crooked you see. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not, in the end, the neon got him. He got hit hard. We're lucky. You know what they say? Follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that.
right. Time to break out the UV lamp. They've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously? Where does he get these guys? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training. Years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife. Because I think by then he'd lost his gun. this job. Construction's complete. Get the safe. Why did he want to blow himself up here? You already have all the data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. something else there. There's no time. See this? Green rope to Kovalev. Ah, uh, I see. Now do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? Fuck. 
Terra, are you there? Who would have thought that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus? Can't find a window to fly out of. And I suppose you're the spider, huh? No, but there's one nearby. Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. Time could be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. You think it's justice to desecrate an Icarite and a corpse? Yes. If you shoot him through a Zikarite, he'll suffer. And more importantly, no more body taxes. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. my not-so-great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once, and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything, especially not from you, because you weren't fucking I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. 
Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Steiner's just trying to cover his own ass. Hide behind regulations, minimize damage, not solve the case. I thought he had bigger balls. Fuck. Learn something new every day, I guess. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Nothing but a delusional little fuck. Wants to be judge, jury, and executioner all by his lonesome. Buries the needle on crazy. I try to stop thinking about it. Try to back away. Shut it down. For one simple reason. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease. Something festering. Somewhere deep down. Underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat. Hard about to crack open. Scream locked in my throat. They say it's necessary. Necessary to dump even more pollution into the air. <laughs> Fuckers. Old Zed. Man's a classic. True professional. He'll fix any machine you bring him. As long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. Another starless night. No surprise there. This much air pollution. Every night's starless. Expensive restaurants in the city, and the tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Pitiful. The opera. You take away the singing and the shitter break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime soap.
rest for a fucking piece of plastic. Can't even tell what it's for. Oh, for fuck's sake. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll take it out of Zed's hide later. sense to me anymore. This, I understand. Sweeter than perfume. <sighs> the Icarus disaster has shaken the city. Now new facts have come to light, which will bring you live in just a moment, in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Are you listening to the radio? It's the middle of the night. Are you drinking again? Relax. I'm on autopilot. You or the car? Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. They'll get over it. It's just another tax. Just another tax. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. aren't people, they're assholes. That's right. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? Boundaries still exist. We may not cross them, but some people are just evil and don't try to understand them. Why? Because they're bastards, and only other bastards can understand them. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pessimism. Did you just admit there are good people in the world, and they include us? Let's hope so. Otherwise, we're in deep shit. <laughs> okay, that sounds more like you. I'm starting to worry. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but looks like we're on the same page. James, can I ask you something personal? Sure. Go ahead. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? And I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. I'm sure I do. Rachel believes it too. Fuck. I'm sorry. I forgot. I overstepped. Relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? The bank or death? Oh, shit. Bank. There's 
always a chance the NYPD will unfreeze me. Then they'll put me in debt and make me pay it back. Damn it. Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Yeah, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. Weirdest synchro issues you've heard of. I only know cases from police files, and they're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, and reacted to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Whoa. Did it hit him? No. He was standing next to it. The smells killed him. I'll ask for your issues. How did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? <sighs> Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth, my partner. Said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. It's probably nothing unusual. Don't worry about that. Attention! Vehicle in a drift run limited zone. Hands up! What are you holding? Seriously? Don't you have anything better to do? I advise you to cooperate. What's your name? I'm on the job, for fuck's sake. You will be held responsible for making false statements. So tell the fucking truth. What are you doing here? I'm resting after I fucked up half the city with a train. Two weeks ago? Maybe you heard about it. I have his data. James Kara, badge number 984. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. Holy shit. It really is that psycho from the train. One last time. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Can't you see? I'm drinking. I have a rotten job. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Good question. Shit, he was already like this when I picked it up at the workshop. Got it from Zed. You guys know him? Old bastard gave me a voucher for a car wash. Good luck finding one open at this hour. Shit! Bolo for a 99 Bluebird! Hands in the air! Yes, 
I was on the Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the- James, you stupid cunt! Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse! We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention all nearby units. Burglary in process is yours. This guy, let's go. Almost got us. Did it work? Did they take the bait? Bait? Did you call in a fake burglary? Uh huh. It was all I could think of. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thanks for saving my ass. <sighs> One thing, though. Cunt? Seriously? <laughs> I panicked. <sighs> okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Seriously? Shit. I owe you an apology. Didn't look at my watch. James, I know you have your demons. I've read your file, but you've got to learn to control them. Why do you think I drink so much? But you know the saying? The sleep of reason produces monsters. Put the vodka away and rest. It will help. And I won't be as funny. Besides, it's a title, not the same. What? Sleep of reason produces monsters. It's the title of an old drawing. I saw the hologram. The guy falls asleep with his head on the desk. There are boogeymen and bats swirling around him, like they're coming for him. You can almost hear the flutter of their wings. It was, uh, Goya, I think. Well, suddenly you know art. Rachel knew art. She liked this place too. Used to stop here sometimes when I picked her up from work. It's time to go back, James. Please, take care of yourself. Waking Sarah up for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. Seems like the whole city's turning to dust, and I 
I still feel the festive atmosphere. We gather around the fire, sing songs, argue about politics. Thanks to this charade, you lie to yourself for another year that your life matters. Shit. I have to go home. immediate decontamination. The level of contamination of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. I know. I know. The synchronization test will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. <laughs> already know who the murderer is? How did I? Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? If I don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs, I'll die. Drugs should be in the kitchen. Or the restroom. Maybe upstairs. Damn. Empty. I think I had- In ancient cultures, the Moirai were an allegory of destiny. They represented the brutal laws that governed the world and only exceptional mortals could gently influence them. No, that sounds weak. you take me there. You look terrible lately. Try to smile a little, just a little bit. is ready. Immediately approach the Hestia module.
Logged. James, Kara, welcome back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. Excellent. Very literally, but perfect. Please select a seat. Our own death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and... And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please start calibration process. Thank you. Let's go to the memories. It's time to confront them. Proceed. The key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective. Please try to do this. I didn't synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. Maybe for you. In sports, a fraction of every percent counts. Excellent. You found a new purpose in life. Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. The complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a process, not an act. Try to isolate minor events using all your senses. Or stop and extend the recovery period. No! I, I, I'll remember. I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease. Burn and... Excellent. Um, seriously? I had a chance to hit it. But my gun jammed. Even though I cleaned it the day before. Who did you want to hit? All I, I remember is... 
We were on a mission. Me and Seth. Derailed the train. My ears were ringing, and fuck! I don't remember. What about Seth? So many bodies. I had to get him. to him? We got a lousy job. He knew the risks. But I was his partner. He relied on me. Unstable simulation. We'd better stop for today. All right? Now? When do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it, and I'll be back where I belong. Attention. Dynamic element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. And staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From nine to twelve months. Estimates may change. Fuck! Sarah, I fucked up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What? What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. You didn't deserve it. Phew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? You think you're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on? Let's get busy then.
we start? Since the Zeppelin crashing into the building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us, definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. Let's start with the connection between the Green case and the Icarus shooting. You've identified him. Great. Yeah, it's a developer named Travis Collette. Travis Collette? Bonjour, Travis. Travis Collette. Travis Collette. James. <clears throat> Sorry. Sarah, you have access to the CTC registers. Just checked. Kovalev Zikarite never made it there. Which means that this is another... This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damned good question. Let's check. Salma again. She might have known something. Would Kovalev have let her go then? She could pull strings. All the more reason for Kovalev to take her down, right? Mixing game metaphors? Hey, people say that. Uh, never mind. You're right. Motherfuckers. I still can't believe it. At least their plans will take a while longer. As the Chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? Sarah, can you check what building this is? How am I supposed to do that? This is just a small section. I need more to work with here. for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the Chief's orders? We can't rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. You think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Diagnostics complete. Repair cost and fine, $938. Ah, oh, fuck you. And don't wait for me with dinner. I'll be late. After our little nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason which was what I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times, and unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle. James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on, turn on the camera. Stand back, the Fed secured the entrance. Could you? On it. You get excited when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. I'd like to see your file. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck with that. I have my ways. Ready. Everything ends where it begins. You watch too many movies. So what are we looking for? Red X. Okay. Any ideas? Have you noticed any difference since your last visit? I tolerate you. Keep searching.
James, I see this is important to you, but what are you doing? As if everything led to this tree. Card, safe, date. Uh... What? I watched this old movie, Curse of the Valley of Serpents. It's really dumb. You're giving me flashbacks. Hmm. That's not what the map wants to tell me. Uh, you want to talk about what was on the artist's mind? Really? James. I was curious. Just checking if you're paying attention. Rich bastards have a pool for yachts. What? Yeah. A fucking huge swimming pool, basically. They put boats in it and sail around. But how... that's... where do they get the water? Fuck if I know. People like you and me are stuck drinking recycled piss, but they're all... Hoist the mizzen mast, Jeffrey! Fuckers. this one. Can you at least check what they took? Probably. Okay. I'm convinced. Are we getting out of here? Wait. James? It's not about the safe. You just said the complete opposite. I changed my mind. They took everything out. What do you want us to do? X-ray it? Great idea. James, you just inserted a card in a tree. I'm sorry, but... lead somewhere. Probably to the washing machine. Over. There's some interference. Can you repeat? Hello? Yes? It's the storm's coming. The electronics are freaking out. Wh where do they lead? What? What? To the electricity. Ugh, never mind. Why such a large generator for such a small safe? This isn't a generator. sound like an expert. I was helping my cousin repair pneumatics like this. Tech from a mortal era. Rich people love automated shit in their homes. We still don't know what this device is for. Just keep looking. This box could lift several tons. Maybe it's pumping gel into the roots. Although, it doesn't look connected. from the safe. It doesn't make sense. Maybe we're missing something. Safe? I'll lock him up. You're asking my opinion? Card. 
go. The first rich dude's secret wall safe of my career. <laughs> you should be a thief. I'm building my resume. <laughs> nice to see you develop. Hey, fuck you. This is my idea. Don't push it. Stamp collection. Another victim. Just more questions. Brian Theodore Coven. What are you doing here? If it wasn't for his donations, orphanages in the city would disappear. Formal dress. A meeting? With a murderer? With green? Let's check where you came from, Coven. some interesting interviews when my team was winning. Then she got into politics and became editor of the whole paper. You had your last deadline. The governor. Sans pants. Prestigious guest list. Chris Everson. Even my idiot neighbor has a bumper sticker. Wonder what he thinks about him and the law now. He was standing under it. I'll pick him up and find out who it is. Maybe I can lift the chandelier. Fire upstairs must have damaged the wires. Okay. But why did he fall? And where's the killer? Shot. Needs a closer look. The Emperor of Screens. Make that god. There's no movie studio that doesn't kiss his ring. Maybe a little lower. He influences more people than you think. What is this? Everybody lies. They learn to live a lie. Adam Cadis. 
Why am I not surprised to see you? Bonchi is your specialty. Okay, what happened here? Where's the damn killer? How did they die? Losing your nerve. Never mind. He was standing here before the chandelier fell on his head. Party. Fucking lack of culture. Eight millimeter, were you sitting here with a loaded gun? Think twice before inviting a paranoia case. The shootout started. You probably didn't consider that. You didn't shoot that fucking thing down on your own head. Are you sure? He shot the killer. Is that... How are you feeling? Better every minute. He aimed toward the piano. trail ends here. Lots of glass under your feet and nothing around. The killer had plenty of time to cover all traces. Like you got hit by a truck. Blagojevich, journalistic scum. Why so much glass? Any complaints? Fuck no. Glass, you, blood, every piece brings me closer to you. What if he hated himself and helped create a world where everyone hated each other? As if he flew over the barrier? It's not everything. Gotta be more. Hate. So that was his spot. Shoe print. Maybe he ran? Where was the killer? Shit. Not enough data. I still don't know what this asshole was doing. Did you run away? Why in this direction? It doesn't make sense. the guy with it? I can respect that. Where were you sitting? Maybe the glass shards will show me. Bingo. So you were sitting here. Bullets were flying everywhere. What made you do that? That's what you were hiding. Fucking wiring. You've had your chance. No need 
to run across the middle of it all. Well, better to do something than nothing at all in a situation like that. Although, as you can see, this is no guarantee of success. And he was done running. He fell limply. Maybe he died in flight. Something or someone stopped him. He shot at Blagojevich. Low. Maybe Blagojevich saw Cadis and liked both their odds better. Did you feel a cold sweat on your back? It would take more than that. Right. You were lucky with that chandelier shot anyway. What? Did you do this? Someone's being paranoid here. It's just fucking wiring. Which gets in the way of my work. Need more light. Who's Sarah? What? You mumbled her name when you were lying on the ground. I don't know. I was delirious. Misery loves company. This How to quell the masses. How oh, nice. They even think about us after hours. Well, there... She knew what was going on. And she took part anyway. Interesting. This notebook is worth a fortune. And why did you... What? And thus, conspiracy theories are born. Another crime scene, another bar. Clearly, booze is as deadly as they say. Masks can be symbolic. Maybe members have to earn them. Senator? Here? Everyone pays for success. High voltage. Must be powering something big. Uh, let's see what happens when we connect this contraption. Can they just keep us skeletons in the regular closet like the rest of us? the ones I saw in holograms? Let's start with the photos. Same weapon? Yeah, 9mm. And empty. You were shooting blindly at Cadis. Senator Patricia Terrence. Oh, this is rich. They've been trying to make her out to be a terrorist for decades because she wanted to change the world. It turns out that they're all on one payroll. The wound looks burnt. Someone was shooting at close range? Pictures of your friend. I don't know you. This 
slaughtered him and bled him for fun. Is it an Icarite? No. It's impossible. It must be some kind of imitation. Are you sure? How did it all start? Was she the one who murdered him? Let's start with who the hell that guy is. You know that by solving this case, you're helping cover it up. Aren't you tired of these games? What's your point? I want to help you. Sure, because you're such a noble guy, right? On Icarus, you couldn't do the right thing. Let me show you whose side you picked. How fucking kind of you. Drake Star? I thought he was using a different body. The actor and the senator's husband. They've always been inseparable. He looks like a victim, but I wouldn't go all in on that. There can be ecstasy in death. It's, uh, an expensive fetish. assailant. Looks like the victim bled out before he got shot. Maybe the killer lost his shit. Lots of moving targets. He had to be in a rush. He could have left additional bullet marks. That kind of trail could help me figure out where he was firing from. It went straight through. Another casualty of your sick shit. Imitation made from Eco Marble. I admire all forms of art, especially when it helps to establish a shooting position. Who are you? Aspiring liaison. How am I doing? Am I as good as that Sarah of yours? Want one for the living room? I'm not sure it matches my couch. Suddenly a shooter appears and takes out our star. It looks like he almost bled out before you shot him. Are you suggesting there was more than one killer? Unlike the rest, this one was murdered voluntarily. Whoever fucked up that sounds. Different blood types. Presumably, the Senator had a pleasurable time with Drake. Before you got her, she was bleeding like hell. them as a shield. She gets hit and plays dead. Smart move. Was she trying to escape? A ritual toy. Sharp. The senator must have held it. Drake's blood. Maybe yours too. Oh. Don't worry. I'm fine. She was always ready to fight. That's why people believed in her. Was she waiting for her moment? Drake had type O negative blood. This is a different type. She surprised you? A ton of lead. Burned skin. They had to struggle, but he had the upper hand. 
A 9mm beats a piece of steel. She crawled away. Didn't you notice? Something else get your attention? She almost gets you. I guess you're on her side. I can tell you that if she got you, she'd have my vote. Broken ribs. You crushed her when you fell on her. And she still didn't give up. You underestimate me. At least I understand the low position you shot Blagojevich from. And remember, Kata shot in this direction. Good to know that not everything goes your way. It's going great. Trust me. So you scurried away like a cockroach. A bullet from a revolver. Probably Cadis's. I wonder how that got here. They almost got you. You had to find a way. And you did. Real fancy. You look lucky as fuck. Don't underestimate me. I wouldn't dare. How long have you been planning to kill that chandelier? Respect where it's due. Also a really good shot. You made it. But I'd like to see your face after that. Your real face. Covered in blood and drool, twisted in fear. Think it was any different than yours when you came in here? You're always watching me, aren't you? Monitoring? You watching me with cameras? The holograms. Somehow they were recorded. These holograms must be stored somewhere. There must be some tapes here. But where? Recording console? I wonder what it turns on. Check to see if any victims were killed with this gun. Nine millimeter, five bullets, half empty clip. Did the killer shoot it? Or did they shoot at him? What does she have to do with all this? Gee, we go back to the beginning. Edward Green. What did you have on him? Look around. Do you really think anyone would need more than what you see?
Zeus. comes with a pocket Hades, a frozen hell where people pay the price for the gods' eternal hangover. The youngest bodies possible. No certificates. We recognize this body. It should belong to an actor with his throat slit. the beginning. Edward Green. What did you have on him? Look around. Do you really think anyone would need more than what you see? A fucking Icarite transmitter. You want to try it out? Fuck you. I'm not like them. First subscription age. If they didn't pay it, they could lose their bodies. But Icarites. Why isn't anyone looking for them? Orphanages. That's why Green and Coven funded them so generously. Only until they turned 21, of course. Motherfuckers. Green was probably recordings for blackmail. No matter how much evil was around, Green would still grab them by the balls. Better focus on you. You have your five fucking minutes of fame. I warn you that I may disappoint you. Wait, what? This is Green. Senator. Attacking his back. He's the one killing them. It doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense to me. Did you force him to do it? How the fuck did you do that? What did you have on him? That's your job. I don't want to get overly involved. I'm not your cheap little slum secretary, Sarah Kai. What? How the fuck did you get her full name? Did you think you're the only one I spend time with? Sarah? You there? Fuck. I've restored the power. That should work. <laughs> if you do anything to her, I'll find you and take you apart piece by piece. Don't keep me waiting. You can 
punish them. I will find you. Do you think anyone will find them here? If I shut them in here? Yes. And the victims? Maybe they want revenge. What kind of sick game is this? Or leave the door open. Your friends will find everything. And it'll blow over in a week. not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up. Somehow I have to find her. Sarah needs electricity. Lots of it. These converters look new. Let's see. Stop complaining about my apartment. Broken cables for sure won't lead me to her. These cables come out of the converter. Sarah, where are you? Sarah needs to communicate somehow. I need to get a closer look. Murderer wanted to pull me into a maze. 
get me drunk with fear. But I had nothing to lose, and had been drunk already for a week. James, can you hear me? What the fuck? Okay, okay. Cool it now. It's me, Sarah. We're good, we're good. Just relax. Sarah, you look like shit. Yeah, back at ya. You're goddamn lucky I missed. I thought some junkie broke into my house. I'm almost finished stitching you up. Could you almost finish faster? How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay still. Why did you come here? I think I'm owed an explanation. some questions first. Sarah, what have you gotten yourself into? Ah! Ah! It was on purpose. Oops. How did you end up in this body? I deserve an explanation. You should be in your first shell. A comfortable and efficient one. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Someone's fallen into bad company. This body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. You're in your 30s, right? 29. 
My bad. My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything. I'm good at that. So what have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story and complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Talk. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I... I did something sketchy, but otherwise... Just spill it already. Fine. You want it? Here it is. I rented my body on the black market. Sarah, what was your motive? Motive? Seriously? I'm not judging. I just... What is this, an interrogation? No, fuck you. What fucking emotions management issues? these figurines? They're memories. I've read that after an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. Stairs, where you came in. And back then, it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. And instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. And something flashed in the pile of rubble, so we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. So, nobody was looking after you your own fast in the slums, because you can either afford children, or you can afford new bodies. Not both. I was ahead of my family by the time I was 15. We found out there used to be a museum here, so we dug more. Day after day, until our hands were bloody. We kept digging for normal people. A portrait of misery, desperation, but... Adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? And the authorities just looked the other way. They didn't give a shit. It's the slums. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt. We felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. I remember exactly when she tricked me, because it was when I turned 21. First subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. 
She did it behind my fucking back. She only thought of others. Never herself. Selfless to a fault. After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke. There was no one to help. She wound up in the bank. And the body went to auction. to get her out, no matter what it takes. <laughs> You're the detective. Now you know my motive. The fuck? Damn it. Got any Ambrosia anywhere? Anything higher octane? I'll pour us something. Or you can also help yourself to Ambrosia in the bedroom. older than me. Slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. Ever watch any westerns? No. What are they about? Oh, you'd love them. I think you'd identify with the characters. In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's privacy? I said none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believed Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. Looks like you covered all the bases. Nice work. Thanks. I try. Have you read Chicken of Justice? There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up, but he fights for a better world for the rest of us. A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. And did Dario also write riddles? was one on the back of the book. Yes! The chicken of justice could only be summoned by solving one. What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. I had a bit of a head start thanks to my sports career, but it didn't come out of nowhere either. From a previous life, I earned it. Mmm, you must have had a hard time. Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never gonna be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Our job sucks, huh? At least it slightly improves your chance of survival. I hope this isn't a tough question. Sarah, 
How are Max, Dario, and Peter now? I wasn't talking. I saw the name on the cabinets. Did they... But don't worry, they're all alive and doing pretty well. They rented a legal apartment, floor 40. They have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. Bottoms up. Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. Okay. Ah, great. What's our poison? The slum's chief export, apart from bodies. Moonshine. Nice. The worse the neighborhood, the better the hooch. What are you renting the body for? A surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything. Even with plenty of evidence. It. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Are you fucking nuts? I'm risking everything for you, shithead. Do you understand that? The whole world doesn't revolve around you. I don't think the whole world. So trust me, like I trusted you. Body. Where did you get this one? Current model. Salma said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. We could scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You need to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them, and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? It's not sleep when you're in the bank. It's nothingness. You don't feel anything. Like transferring in CTC? I remember what you said. And you remember that I'd still choose the bank? James, I have to save her! Fuck! You understand? I get it. Sometimes you have to cross the line. And if you do it, at least make it for someone you love. Well, I don't know if that's what I want. Do you know what I'd give to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Press your finger. I can handle it. Why'd you become a cop? Oh, please. It's not worth going into. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. Not so fast. One more question. A basic one. Yeah? Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you. I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. We'll do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. 
The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? Fucking Demmer. Oh, haven't heard that before. Good to know you still have feelings for them. James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. How do you deal with that kind of desynchro? And how do you deal with it? I don't know if I'm the best example. Lots of familiar... F there may be no evidence that they made a transfer of consciousness at the time of the incident, but his behavior... I know, it's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. And it all comes down to this? Fucking why? Art for art's sake? They didn't die because of money. Yeah, they had plenty of it. There had to be another reason. You're telling me these are the only people who can deal with the chaos in this city? Am I? No. But I think that's what Green is trying to tell us. Do you buy it? Well, this motherfucker knew corruption and power like no one else. Okay. Whether it was Green's will or someone else was pulling the strings, why did Green have to die? I see at least two, uh, no, three possibilities. Can you be more specific, Miss Detective? I'm throwing them in. Are you sure? I was, but I changed my mind. I think we need to focus. I am fucking focused. years of accumulated power and plotting. No one else could bear it. Like I said, I have at least three hypotheses. Yes, ma'am. I feel like following this lead might take a long time. I'm just looking at all the angles. How sure are you of that? Barry. It would take years for his competitor to grow in political power. True. You can't just grab someone off the street for a position like that. How much planning does it take to set up something like that? I don't know. But we need to figure out who's pulling the strings in all this. James, aren't you afraid your memories will eventually fade away? I don't dwell on that. I've had plenty on my mind. Right. Okay. Let's try to draw some conclusions. Honestly, I see two main possibilities. Or we're just seeing a small part of a bigger plan. By someone who's always two steps ahead of us. Or Green's plan played out with Kovalev's help. Mm-hmm. How do you figure? I don't know. He has access to some advanced tech. He managed to make contact with you in the Red Room. He knew everything that happened. Like he was in Green's head. I, I thought Green just committed suicide, but now I'm having a tough time buying that. Sorry, I've got a lot of thoughts. What do you think? Who's behind all this? Murderer or Green? The more important the decision, the less certain, huh? <sighs> We're out of time for mistakes. He's a murderer. Green's death wouldn't make sense. He must have been influencing for a long time until he finally got him to shoot the other deviants. Damn influential deviants. He took another harvest on Icarus. And if he's aiming to paralyze the city, to create chaos. So, what's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. 
criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. They leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. No. Poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks. No. Shit. I was wrong. Forget it. Sarah, rewind. No, you can't touch your own case, or reconstruct it, or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new earpiece. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Ah. Huh. Thanks. Looking in the mirror at yourself, sometimes the scariest thing imaginable. But it was time to face myself on my own, without dragging anyone else down. statement is that there are only two kinds of medicine that work, those with an awful taste, and narcotics. James, are you there? Good to hear you. I'll be on the line, but remember, in this place, desynchro can be deadly. 
Got any symptoms yet? Thanks. Never felt better. Damn it. I can't see anything. Do you think there are any traces? No, no ticket jokes, Conductor? Anything? That motherfucker had to shoot everyone. So many bodies lost. What? Why can't I remember anything? They had nowhere to run or hide. Some bodies were permanently damaged. Constructing is a good idea. The Reconstructor will try to use your memories because you were there. It'll be fine, Sarah. No, you won't. I... Wait. James, wait for me. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. I have something. I'll explain later. Um... Get out of my head! Are 
are you alive? <laughs> what? Kindler uses your memories against you. Like a parasite. Squeezes into gaps left by the D6 and modifies them. I don't know. He hacked synchro tests and finds out everything? He does it somehow. Run away from there. Come home and we'll talk about it. Don't reconstruct any further, understand? I can't be with you now. Uh, what? I'll explain later. Uh, my body is in trouble. Okay? Over and out. <gasps> fears feeding on her death reconstructing this is going to be sisyphus work the difference is sisyphus tried to ch mm. rachel had one she wore at the gate until it broke into pieces Construction. Oh! <laughs> 
killed. You can do it. You know what's real. Interesting. <clears throat>
is like an amputation. When it comes too late, it's sure to bring blood and pain, and as likely as not, little else. James, where are you going? Don't worry, I'm just below the park. I'm running to our friends in the loop. I'm already flying over. Close the airspace over the park. Regroup on 57 and stop them from getting south. I will be there soon. It's not an easy day to be a police chief. It's not easy for anyone. for himself if he tried. A forest of fake trees that last forever without actually being alive. What exactly happened? All I know is the mob ripped through the police cordon and attacked the rich folks at Green Celebration. Where's Sama now? James? Are you there? I... 
I've lost my vision. Talk to me. Copy. James! Oh, you're alive. You okay? Did you get hit hard? James, are you okay? I think so. I had a hard landing. Port police car crashed near me. Did you literally run into one of our friends in blue? There he is! Quick! Report it! I don't think she's hurt. We don't know if someone's after her. for a police car was sent out automatically. Great. A great day for scrap dealers. Not for anyone else. Fucking big. Great. Probably the Morai statue from Green's exhibit, where his farewell happened. Head towards it. I'm trying. idea was it to say goodbye to Green here? I don't know. Probably the city. It was the last exhibition he sponsored. Why does it matter? I'm wondering if this could have been planned. You think what's happened here is also part of the murderer's plan? Look, everything happens on the day of Green's funeral. And it all started with him. As far as paralyzing the city and causing chaos, well, it works. But what was the goal? A step toward the goal. I don't know, honestly. statue was of? Morai. That explains a lot. Morai were the goddesses of fate. All I know is that they watched over the life threat of mortals and gods. How oh, nice. I have to take a roundabout route to them. How's Salma? Slowing down. She seems to be running out of strength. Bad out your name. It 
You just happen to be in the middle of this shitstorm. Boss, I covered for you. Burned the papers. You didn't see me, okay? I gotta save someone. You moonlight this private muscle or something? Or something. You really piss me off. Get in the fucking car. Before it's too late. James, please. Soma. I can't. This is your last chance. I'm trying to help you, you idiot! Boss. Damn you, Kara! Get back for your rig right then. Sorry, pal. Watch out! Car! Fuck! Order the 
bank. The end justifies the means. So you'll get your revenge and burn everything to the ground. Then what? A psycho like you's gonna replace it with a brave new world? Bad fucking chance! Mortality will give us meaning again. We all take the poison last. How about we reverse the order? I put a bullet in you, then you can have your poison. I've heard enough. Get out! It's time to end it! <laughs> What are you gonna do? Sacrifice this body? Come on! Third time lucky! <laughs> Smoldering in it. Blind fears. Warped by traumas. Psychoses. It's time to end this, James. Stop fighting. He's a so all of this. You've been living a stolen life. For what? To let everyone down? To fall? Taking a joyride in your body. 